guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video, as the title says above, is going to be my review for the Zebra Mouth Liner Highlighters. I love these highlighters so much. They are phenomenal in my Bibles. They're like my go-to number one things. And I'm doing this review because they do have a new set of highlighters coming out. The same colors, but they are going to be brush tip highlighters, which I'm so excited about. So I wanted to get this review up before those came out. So, if you guys don't know what the Mal Liner highlighters are, this is what they look like. Um, sorry about the ring light. I'm trying to figure that out. No, it's just not going to work. But yeah. <laughs> Um, but this is what they look like. They come in packagings like this, but some of them will be blue, yellow, or I believe pink colors. Um, and these two are my two newest ones that I got for myself for my birthday. And these are, this is the packaging that it comes in originally. I do take them out of the packaging. I don't really care to keep it, but, um, they are a Japanese brand. So that's why they look like this but i love them so much and they are dual ended as you can see there is a chisel in and there is a brush tip not a brush tip a fine point in so you have a chiseled and a fine point which i think is great so i'm going to share with you guys all of these beautiful colors because i just think they're phenomenal so they do come in sets of five so you can get them like this this set here is called the fluorescent bright or the fluorescent mild. They're basically really neon highlighters, but they're mild on the color payout. This set is the deep warm. Then you have the cool refined. This one is called the friendly, and then this one is the bright. I am not sure why this is called friendly. I don't get it. Maybe it's because it's friendly colors. But yeah, all the names for the packages make sense to me except for this one. I get why this is bright. I get why this is fluorescent. That's definitely more of the deep warm colors, and that's definitely cool. I don't I don't understand zebra explain but <laughs> yeah so I did have swatches of all of these for you of these on um index cards but the index cards are not the best quality so what I did do is print out a swatch sheet so that I can swatch them on camera for you guys I am going to show you guys how these look within six of my bibles but before I get into that again just showing you guys this is what they look like see if I can get this to focus so here's how it looks the tube is pretty much you know simple really nice colors um, it does come with two ends so you have your fine point in looks like this hope you guys can see that and then you have your chisel point which is your normal highlighter side so I'm going to put these to the side now so that we can swatch them and I did like I said print out a swatch sheet I already wrote the name which is the zebra mouth liner highlighters I put the pack names and then the colors because these actually do have names on the um, tube you're not gonna be able to see it too well but where it says MP that is where it says mild pink hopefully you guys can see. okay so hopefully you guys can see that MP right there I'm not sure if it's going to focus Probably not, but there is a little thing that says MP, um, which lets you know the color name. So they all have names on them, and I wrote all the names out, so we're going to dive right into this so this video is not super long. So I'm going to start off with the fluorescent pack, and um, here is your mild pink. So let's move these out of my way first. And I am going to just make a line like that, and using the fine tip make a line and that's basically all I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna speed this portion of the video up now
so here are all of the colors for the mild liner highlighters and i have a favorite from each set so from the fluorescent i'm loving these two uh right here this blue green this blue and this pink from the cool and refined i love the green the gray and the violet from the deep warm i really love these two the magenta and the gold from the friendly I really like this cayenne and this coral pink, but this yellow is really nice. And then from this set, I really honestly love all of the colors. I just don't agree that they call this lavender. It, it doesn't look lavender. But those are swatches of all the colors, so hopefully that's helpful. This is just on regular printer paper. So now I'm going to show you guys how it works inside of different Bibles. And I'm going to probably just pick one color from each pack to show you guys. So, we're going to go with the mild pink. We're going to use this gray. I'm going to go with this gold. I'm even going to throw this red in. So, I'm going to move these out of the way. And then, from these packs, we're going to go with the lavender summer green and then we're gonna go with the cayenne and the apricot so I have a variety of colors here I'm even gonna throw the brown as well so you guys can see like the darker colors so we're gonna rock with these ones here I'm gonna move this to the side and the first thing I'm gonna do is show you guys how they work inside of my New King, New King James Spiritful Life Bible. Sorry about that. And I'm actually going to flip to a page that I recently just did. I posted this on um, Instagram. But I've recently been going through Acts studying the Evangelist Philip. And um, I hope you guys can see this color, if I'm not mistaken, is this right here. This one is the mild coral pink so the coral pink is what i used for here as well as the gray i'm not sure if you guys can see it and i also use blue here the cyan um but if you flip it over you do not see any bleed through whatsoever um there's like two dots here and here but that's from where i had pressure at but you really cannot see it at all going forward i have the blue here can't see that, but um, it's right there. And then flipping the page, I then use, if I'm not mistaken, Summer Green. I use this one, which is the Apricot. And I believe this one is the other green color that I used. But um, again, there's no bleed through on those colors, like whatsoever, on this page. There's a little bit of show through, but no bleeding at all. Same thing on this side. Now, the only ones I found I had a problem with was this pink, which is the mild fuchsia, if I'm not mistaken, this pink. But that was more so on my end just because I pressed a little too hard there and you can kind of see it on this page. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera. But other than that, you cannot see it whatsoever too much on there, which I love. So that, again, like I said, is my new King James Spirit-Filled Life Bible. And, oh no, we don't like bent pages. <laughs> The next Bible I want to take a look at is the ESB Story of Redemption Bible. This is the Bible I'm currently using to study the book of Joshua. So I'm just going to flip through to my notes on Joshua. I've been studying Joshua in here. And um, it's not too bad. There is going to be a slight show through, slight bleeding, but nothing too in depth. This right here is that red color, which is really pretty. So, I mean, it, it's not too bad. And this is not, um, like, a dedicated journaling Bible, but I consider it to be because it's single column. But I've been using this to do my notes, um, and it's amazing. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this uh, red here. This is the mild red. And I'm going to underline the Ark of the Covenant. I'm sorry, Ark of the Lord leading the people. Then I'm going to take this mild lavender as they call it and then underline he will fight and let's just see on the other end so i do see the imprint of the red right here but i don't see the imprint of the lavender you probably are not going to be able to pick that up on camera but seeing it in person i can definitely see the imprint of the line right there but again no bleed through whatsoever
Next Bible I want to look at is the CSB Study Bible for Women. Um, and what I'm going to do, I don't think I've ever highlighted in this one, honestly. <laughs> I can't remember if I have. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one of my favorite scriptures, which is John 3.30, which is what Daughter of Increase is based off of. <laughs> so John 3.30, and I am going to go with this cayenne. I, I call it cayenne, but I know that it's cyan. But I'm going to go with this mild cyan. And um, John 3.30 is right here. He must increase, but I must decrease. I'm going to highlight it. Simple as that. And we can flip over. No bleed through. None whatsoever. And I really, I really can't. T okay, right here I can see it a bit. Not sure if it's picking up on camera, but you really cannot see it. Okay, so that's another Bible that it's great in. The next Bible I want to look at is my all-time favorite one. I'm going to try to grab it without dropping all of this stuff in front of me. <laughs> but that is going to be this one here, which is my all-time favorite study Bible. This is the Thomas Nelson's um, Study Bible for Women or Women's Study Bible. I love this. It's in the KJV. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip ahead to Philemon because that's where I actually use this. And um, you guys can see here. I marked it with a yellow, I marked it with the green. You cannot see the bleed through whatsoever. Like whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is did I highlight in Hebrews as well? What I'm going to do is where it says repentance right here. I'm gonna highlight it. I'm gonna use this what is this? The apricot? Yes, the apricot color. I'm gonna go Repentance, spiritual and moral change of attitude toward God, change of direction away toward Him. Then I'm going to go back in with this summer green. Is this summer green? Yes, this is the summer green color. And then I'm going to under highlight the rest. Um, repentance from dead works, idea of attaining justification by works. Such efforts would be dead because it's ineffective. They cannot provide salvation. So we just highlighted those and let's flip it. Not too bad. Um, there is show through. No bleed through, but I can slightly see it a little bit. I'm not sure if it's picking up on camera in this area. Right here is the green and up here is that apricot. But again, another great success in this Bible. So the last two Bibles are probably going to be the ones people are concerned about. So the first one we're going to go with is... The Thompson Chain Reference Bible. This Bible has thin, 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 thin paper. But I love it so much. I really do. So we're going to go to John 3.30 again. Actually, no. We're going to go to Hebrews. Hebrews 6, verses 1 and 2 is what I'm going to highlight. So I can use multiple colors. So. I hope you guys are seeing this close enough, but Hebrews uh, 6 verses 1 through 2, I am going to take some new colors. I'm going to take these two bright colors right here. This is the mild fuchsia, and then this one is the mild marigold. Okay? I'm going to move these colors out of my way <laughs> right now because we're just all over the place with this video, so I apologize. Sounds like somebody is praying downstairs. I don't know if you guys can see, but it sounds like they're like doing serious warfare, crying out to God. That's really what it sounds like. I'm not sure if you guys can pick that up on the, the microphone, but it really sounds like somebody's doing warfare. Either it's my next door neighbor or my landlord in the, in the basement. I don't know, but it sounds like somebody's going to war in the spirit. That's amazing. But um, <laughs> uh, Hebrews 6, 1 and 2 is basically what I had to do my doctrin doctrinal paper on. So we're just going to highlight the doctrines, um, which are repentance from dead works, faith towards God, baptisms, laying on of hands and of resurrection of the dead and of eternal judgment then I'm going to take this uh, marigold I'm going to put on 
highlight not laying again the foundation of and we're gonna go back I guess with this here is this the lemon yellow yes this is lemon yellow there we go so I use the lemon yellow the marigold and the fuchsia let's see how that held up again not bad I'm not sure if you guys is I did it right here you can again there is show through but I mean if you did this with any other highlighter it would probably bleed through on this paper like specifically but you guys that is phenomenal literally I don't know if you guys can see here like it's bare minimum let me bring this up and see if that'll help you really I don't even think you can really see it on camera you can see the line sort of kind of but that is amazing you guys can't tell me these highlighters are just not bomb like for real so the last test we're gonna do is in the beloved beloved she reads truth bible now i love this bible i don't use it as much because the paper quality sucks i'm not even gonna lie i've tried writing in this with pencil highlighters pen it just never works out um, like ever. I don't even think I have anything here. Like, I use the gel highlighters in here. And even then, you can still get show through from that, like right here. So what I'm going to do is, again, go to Hebrews. You guys, where's Hebrews? I'm way off, aren't I? What's this? Oh, that's spill my I'm going in the right direction. Here it is. Hebrews 6, 1 through 2, right here. I am, hmm. I'm going to go with this gray color. I'm going to go with this, what is this called? This color is called, I don't even know what this color is called. <laughs> this one is called citrus green. So I'm going to go with that dark gray citrus green. And what is another color we can do? I don't know guys, what color could I do? What color could I do? Let's go with red. Red? Red. So I'm gonna take these three right here and highlight again. Same verses that I did earlier. So, therefore let us leave the elementary teaching about Christ and go on to maturity. Um, not laying the foundation of I'm actually gonna take this gray and go here we will do if this we will do this if God permits that's extremely dark so I would only probably use the gray to underline because it's really dark let's go with this color which is the dark blue no nope, let's not use the dark blue <laughs> um Let's go with violet and mark the rest of this up. So there we go. I use these four colors. So I would not use the dark gray to underline, I mean to highlight with. I would use it to underline. It's great as an underliner, but to highlight, you will kind of have a hard time seeing your words. But I use dark gray, violet, the red, and the citrus green. And um, you guys can see here. So, let's see how that did. That's the wrong page. Again, not bad. Um, I'm not sure if it's going to pick up on camera. But, I can sort of see the dark gray here. But other than that, I really don't see those colors showing through or, or bleeding through. So, I mean, I, I literally showed this to you guys in two, four, six Bibles. Um, these highlighters are God sent. These are all 25 colors. They are coming out with another set. Like I said, they're going to be brush um, highlighters. So there will be a brush tip on one end and the next, the other end will be a, a slightly finer fine point. So almost like an ultra fine point, which I think is great because you'll then have four different tip sizes of the same color, which I'm all for. I've already pre-ordered my brush ones on Amazon. Just saying. But um, these are all... 25 colors I mean you have a beautiful array of colors no two colors look the same you have various blues this blue this blue this one this one 
you have three different greens four actually you have the blue green which I, I look at this more of a mint color this green is just really pretty then you have the citrus green and then the summer green various yellow colors you have maybe four oranges one two three four yeah you have two pinks you have your purples here I mean you literally have an array of colors so color coding with this is completely fun again they come in these little packages I'm tossing mine because I don't keep these like at all we, we toss these so they come like this um, they are basically about two dollars per highlighter but you can get them on sets through Amazon I will leave a link to the complete sets of 25 and the complete set of 15 um, down below I'll also leave a link to where you can pre-order the uh, brush mouth highlight mouth liner highlighters I swear that's a tongue twister but um, again I hope this video was helpful guys I hope I encouraged you guys to get these highlighters I really love them and when I say that I don't say it just to say it or just because it's a fad no these highlighters are phenomenal in your Bibles and I don't even know if I can find the page in which I use highlighters like plain regular highlighters in my she reach truth Bible I wouldn't be able to tell you guys right now because I okay wait I found something and now I can't find it <laughs> but yeah I've used regular pens regular highlighters in this Bible and I mean terrible 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 as far as like showing and bleeding through but I mean it even works in a Thompson chain reference and that paper is really really thin so do I recommend these highlighters of course without a doubt without a question I highly recommend them they are my favorite highlighters I keep them in this little pouch because they are just so cute um, and like I said you get a, an array of colors you get two grays you even get a brown you get a red like a red highlighter come on that red is really pretty this brown is gorgeous this dark gray is amazing these two I don't use to highlight per se I use I'll, I'll use these two more so for underlining colors um, but the rest of these colors work phenomenally well as um regular old highlighters so i guess that's it for this video i'm not gonna keep rambling on i hope this was informative <laughs> again subscribe if you aren't subscribed like this video click that little bell to stay notified and i'll see you guys in the next video bye